Do you want to unlock the true power of N8N? Well, today I'm going to give you the top 10 tricks that you need to know in order to supercharge your workflows. Now, this first trick is something that a lot of people don't really know, and it took me a while to figure this out as well. But if you open up any node in N8N, there is this hidden settings menu right here, and it's really important to retry on fail. A lot of these N8N nodes, they might encounter internet issues and things like that. So I always try to retry at least three times and then wait about five seconds before retry so that the workflow doesn't actually error when it's not supposed to. Now that I got you guys on the hidden settings menu, I want you guys to scroll down and take a look at on error. So by default, N8N will automatically stop a workflow as soon as one of the nodes error. Now, sometimes you might not want that. Sometimes if you're running a loop, you might want to continue to the next item on the loop. And sometimes you might want to continue just using the error output and add a check and balance a little bit later on to check for that error. So be sure to check that out. It's really important. Now, a lot of you probably know about pinning data, but I have a pretty cool trick when it comes to pinning data. So if you click this data here, right now this data will forever be pinned and I don't have to test the entire workflow before that node in order to get the data, right? Well, sometimes it doesn't quite work as expected. And so what I like to do sometimes is add a code node whenever I want to pin data. And when you add a code node and you pin data to that code node, it actually ends up being really good because it'll save all the data that you need even if the output from the previous node isn't exactly what you're wanting so be sure to use code nodes kind of as console logs in order to pin data to them now there is another hidden settings menu within your workflow that you can use in order to do some really really cool stuff so open up any workflow and right here click the top three dots and click settings okay now you can change a lot of different things about this workflow you can change the time zone that the workflow is currently working in you can change the error workflow so if the workflow does encounter an error you can be like hey I need to notify somebody that this error happened let's execute another workflow that's really really powerful there's a lot of other really really cool stuff in here that you might want to check out another thing that's really really cool is the timeout workflow function so sometimes you'll catch yourself in an infinite loop or you're waiting infinitely long to get a response from an API and you want the workflow to be able to time out to stop and continue on or just stop in general because it will freeze up your N8N instance. So that's something really important to check out. Now, another really cool feature about N8N that a lot of people don't know is you can actually leave sticky notes on your N8N workflow in order to give yourself an idea of which portions of the workflow do what. So in order to do that, you just right click and you click add sticky note and then you can double click it and you can edit it however you want. You can change the color to any color you want and it's using markdown so if you guys know markdown language you can make it look really beautiful now here's another tip for people who are power users of n8n and they might have a lot of different clients or a ton of different workflows one really cool thing is to add tags up here you can add tags for your clients name you can add tags for what the workflow does so that later you can go to the home page and you can actually filter by the tags that you've created now another thing that a lot of people don't know about N8N is you can actually install custom community nodes. Now there are tons of forums with lots of really really great custom N8N nodes that you can check out, install, and use on your N8N instance. So be sure to check those out. One thing I've noticed a lot of beginner N8N users do is they will build the entire workflow before they start testing. Do not do that. Instead, what you should do is you should do one or two nodes at a time and test those nodes and make sure they work. Pin the data and then continue on. That way, by the time you get to the end of the workflow, everything works. Instead of figuring out later on that you have to change the entire workflow that you already built just because you didn't think about something. Now, this last tip has to do with organizing data and one really cool node to use is the set node. Now, the set node is really cool because it allows you to transform the data data in various different ways, especially if you're interacting with a Supervase or a Postgres server, it is really, really good to organize the data in order to put in the database. Also, if you want to grab data from multiple different nodes in the past and just combine it into one output to make it a little bit easier for you in the future, the set nodes are king. Now that you've mastered these top 10 N8N tricks, it's time to take your abilities to the next level and learn how to make a customized AI chatbot with in. So be sure to check out that video and I'll see you guys next time.